Hi friends, here is Aricha from Aricha RP Academy Bangalore. In this video, we are going to see in detail about environment variables in surface automation. In the last video, we have seen like how to log into an application. Let me run this process once again. Okay, it's going through well. So if you observe here, so we define these two data items, one for username and one for uh, password. And under exposure, we have select like a null means we define these variables and in this page itself. So in this video, I'm going to define these variables in under system tab called like environment variables. Under system tab you can find like an environment variables under processes as well as under objects so but both are same so you can define either here or here so now I am defining again two variables one for username and one for password so username is so the name is like an username The data type is text and the description is user information user login so information so values so it re it requires both username and password so like on the same information so let me define like let us say the value is like an aditya and let me add one more variable Okay, password and the data type is password then let me copy and paste it here so user login information and the password is also same and then click on apply and these environment variables will avail you know, are available under objects also means that we define these two variables here these variables are available in both process rule and objects rule in an a and wherever we want we can reuse it but whereas only for static we can use static variables only for the static purpose we can use like, we can go for like environment variables but whereas for dynamic we can't use environment variables so especially the username and password they are static and you know, since they are not dynamic I am I'm going to define in environment variables and we can call these variables to anywhere in process studio and as well as in object studio now I'm going back to studio I guess surface automation let me save as means like a cloning because okay, surface automation hyphen environment variables then next then click on finish Here I'm going to define okay two data items or two variables. Open this one under exposure option select the environment, then we can see the username is here. And select environment and then choose and password. Click on OK and then let me run this. So business object
change this one global send keys okay remove it and then add global mouse click so remove it and add it then drag and drop the root one choose global send keys then choose in password then click on ok so reset it and then run it Okay, let me close this application. Okay, let me run this process. So reset it and run it. Yeah, application is open. Let me rename it. So environment variables. Okay, and then it's already published. Save it. Save changes. The name of the business subject is environment variables and uh, the human business surface automation environment, environment variables and even the action name is uh, environment variables. Let me bring it back to studio, create a process, surface automation, environment variables. So process and drag and drop action stage. So let me assign a name for this one okay, environment variables. I choose a business object surface automation environment variables and the action is environment variables then ok then link it so reset it now it show like zero errors on it and one important thing is that while machine is working with that application we better to leave the mouse because it also search for like a mouse okay it's working fine let me assign this task to a robot publish this process to control room save it 
then go back to control room so drag and drop onto the board so highlight it and then start selection when in control room also it's working fine and in next video we are going to see in detail about session variables in surface automation please stay with us thank you for watching if you really like it like please subscribe it and you please refer to your friends thank you